After the Barnard system campaign, the Human Alliance mobilized their colony ships to their new regions of space quickly. Although the Noans were in control of the Proxima Centauri system, they didn't colonize Proxima Centauri D, and according to them it was for good reason. They claimed they started a mining colony there, but it was short-lived. Although the mines were very rich in metals highly needed to produce interstellar travel ships, the dangers with the local inhabitant apex predators were too great. The planet is inhabited by vicious creatures they call drylops. They describe them as standing at two meters tall, hairy with sharp claws. They are apex predators who hunt anything that moves, and they don't discriminate on their prey. No in clop or morale, they were all equally edible. They are very hard to kill, and their claws can slice through the morale's tough skin with only a few blows. As the colony ships of the Human Alliance approached Proxima Centauri D, a sense of trepidation filled the air. We had heard the stories of the Drylops, the fearsome creatures that inhabited the planet, and we knew that we would have to tread carefully if we were to establish a successful colony. Despite the risks, we were determined to claim this new region of space as our own, and we were prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. After the Barnard system campaign, the Alliance fleet desperately needed these rich mines to replenish our losses as we are currently exposed to less than proficient ships to protect our space. Although thankfully the recent skirmish between the Ixiarts and the Prozenuthian Empire has bought us some time to rebuild. As we landed on the surface of Proxima Centauri D, the harsh reality of our situation became apparent. The landscape was rugged and unforgiving, and the presence of the dry lops lurked in the shadows, a constant reminder of the dangers that surrounded us. But we were not deterred. With our advanced technology and firm grit, we began the arduous task of establishing our colony, knowing that the success of our mission depended on our ability to overcome the obstacles that lay before us. Despite the challenges we faced, our colony on Proxima Centauri D began to take shape. We worked tirelessly to fortify our defenses and establish a perimeter around our settlement, knowing that the safety of our people depended on our ability to keep the dry lops at bay. Each day brought new threats and new challenges, but we refused to back down. We had come too far to let fear dictate our actions, and we were determined to succeed against all odds. As time passed, we learned to adapt to the harsh environment of Proxima Centauri D, and our colony thrived despite the dangers that surrounded us. But it wasn't too long before the Drylops acquired a taste for human flesh. At first it was only a few colonists who went missing, only to find their remains days later. Our security forces adjusted to the attacks, but the Drylops were a very cunning and savvy predator. One day, an entire large group of colonists going home after a long work day were attacked by a band of three Drylops. The stories were true as these large canid creatures attacked with precision. They were swift as they attacked the group from three angles, taking down the armed colonists first. Their claws were sharp enough to cut a man in half with one slash. On that day, fourteen colonists' lives were lost, and the message from the dry lops was clear. They are the top of the food chain. Or so they thought. After the colonists were slaughtered by the dry lops, the Human Alliance brought in a special team of hunters called Those Who Chase. The trackers were given total reign to hunt down and control the dry lop population. The hunters were rugged individuals, both men and women who lived for the thrill of the hunt, each one with a unique skill and hunting technique. The members of the special team, those who chase, were tasked with tracking down the dry lops and eliminating them to ensure the safety of the remaining colonists. The dry lops were cunning adversaries, blending seamlessly into the harsh landscape of Proxima Centauri D. The hunters utilized a variety of tracking techniques, from following their scent trails to analyzing their territorial markings in order to locate their lairs and ambush them. Day and night, 
They stalked the dry lops through the dense foliage, always alert for any sign of movement or danger. It was a dangerous game of cat and mouse, but the hunters were determined to eradicate the threat and avenge the lives lost in the dry lop attacks. Each encounter with the creatures tested their skills and resolve, but they remained steadfast in their mission to cull these savage creatures. Despite their efforts, the dry lop population remained elusive, and the hunt stretched on for weeks. The creatures seemed to possess an uncanny ability to evade traps and ambushes, making it clear that they were not to be underestimated. As the days passed, tension among the team grew, fueled by the relentless pursuit and the ever-present danger lurking in the shadows. But those who chase refused to back down, driven by a fierce determination to succeed where others had failed. They honed their skills, learning from each encounter and adapting tactics to outwit the cunning predators. Slowly but surely, all efforts began to pay off as the number of dry lops in the vicinity steadily dwindled and the threat to the colony began to diminish. After a while, the colonists started noticing the effectiveness of those who chase. Bodies of dry lops began to be found around the colony. Some of them were skinned for their fur, some were quartered for their meat, and some were just beheaded. The creatures from the shadows were now afraid of the shadows themselves. With each successful hunt, the once ominous presence of the creatures waned, until finally the colony was safe once more. Those who chase had proven themselves capable of facing even the deadliest of adversaries and emerging triumphant. After three grueling months of tracking and hunting, those who chase returned to the colony with news of their success. With ninety dry lops eliminated and their dens destroyed, the threat to the colony had been effectively neutralized. The team's efforts had created a safe zone around the colony, extending for a hundred kilometers in every direction, where the dry lops no longer dared to roam. Their return was met with relief and gratitude from the colonists, who had lived in constant fear of the dry lops' attacks. With the creatures driven back and the colony secured, a sense of peace settled over Proxima Centauri D once more. The humans had proven themselves as formidable hunters, reclaiming their place at the top of the untamed wilderness. As the days passed, life in the colony began to return to normalcy, with the threat of the dry lops no longer looming over them. Those who chase were hailed as heroes, their bravery and skill celebrated by the grateful colonists. With the wilderness now safe to explore, the colony's prospects for growth and expansion looked promising. The humans had demonstrated their resilience and adaptability once again, overcoming the challenges posed by the hostile environment of Proxima Centauri D. With the dry lops driven back and the colony secure, they could now focus on building a prosperous future in this distant corner of the galaxy. The dry lops are savage creatures, but they now understand they are no longer the top of the food chain and have shifted their hunting grounds away from the true apex predators, the humans.